Hello folks, this is Audiotron 1003 and this time it's my long-awaited uh, full modification of the Technic Lego set 42009 uh, Mobile Crane Mark II. This is the original. Okay, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. And I've done a number of things um, on this set. First of all, I bought an extra fairing panel which I've used to fill this space. I've also, sorry about the light, I bought some small beams just to fill that space. That's a seven and that's, sorry, that's a five and that's a seven just to fill that in. I've used the fairing panel that was there to put there and just pinned it in place. The uh, the connector was red, but I've changed it to yellow simply to make it blend in. But when I don't need it, I simply store it down there. These I've changed to yellow. There's also probably one in here and a couple of others. I simply did that just for aesthetics. On the other side, if I swing this thing around. Okay. That's what the other side looks like if I go out. So it just adds a nicer finish than the than the original. So that's what that looks like. Okay. I found one of these on the internet, a five axle yellow wheeled version of one of these, and that's what I was basing it on. If you go into Google, you will probably find it. Anyway. Uh, so I base mine on on that design. Another thing I've done is I wanted yellow wheel hubs but couldn't find any so the best I could do was replace the grey with these and yellow half bushes. Eventually I'll try and find some of these just to enhance the appearance. Another thing I've done once again I've made a floor. This is a 5x11 uh, panel and I've cut slots because there's beams in there that go down to the front. It's very hard to see in this light so I'm, I'm sorry about that. Uh, and there's two 3M beams just to fill that in and that's all I've done is just and fitted it into place. This beam, sorry, this pin here when that closes will fit into there and it locks it all in place okay like so that's all I've done um, I've also filled in a couple of holes here with some small beams just to finish off the, the finish these are two extra lights they're just simply two uh, trans clear orange pips on a connector like a pin sorry so I just pop them in there. I've changed this into a, a trans clear engine just to enhance its appearance really and also so you can see the, the pistons moving. If I move this around. Another thing I've done, I've reconfigured this and I've made a kind of a hatch so if you don't want to see what's going on inside you can close it but if you do you just lift it open and all I've done is connected panels not cutting or anything just simply pin them together and down here is a pin and one on the other side just acting as hinges um, if I turn this round these, these components here, and the same on the other side, it's just a 3M axle which is just pushed in to lock it all in place. So as I could do this, because originally all this was closed. So you, like I say, you get to see what's inside, or you can, sorry, you can close it like so. It's just a little extra feature I wanted to add for my own enjoyment. Another thing I've done is these connectors. This 
wasn't originally here like so it was further up here so I wanted to keep the cabling free from the boom so I moved one of these around and I simply put it in there just to add a bit of extra support and it runs along here like so all the way to here if I switch this round you can you can see what I've done okay this axle was a spare it was originally 32 M but I decided to modify it by cutting it into a 27 M axle so that I could make a nice clean line like so and get rid of all the messy connectors okay that's what I've done there so it connects down here and it runs all the way to this bush here okay uh, with the uh, surplus 5m length I decided to finish off the little cab here so all I've done is I've just slipped it through this hole here and this hole and secured it with two half bushes okay just to give it an extra finish moving along everything else is pretty much as is there was a component let's move this back a bit it's a bit in my face it was somewhere around here I took that away so when this thing when all this thing folds down it's flush with this so sorry it was there just like the real cranes they don't have a lot of space so I removed that so that slides down like so uh, what else have I done? Moving down here, I've taken a 4M flat black half beam, cut it in half, rounded it so that I could link my chains. Now the chain itself is connected to the bottom of my motor like so there's one there okay and then the other half I'm very sorry about the light it's a trouble with working with dark colors it fits in there and the stud fits in there and it slides along the axle at the bottom and locks it in place these chains were bought on eBay I think they're more for draw bridges from castles but I thought they were quite realistic for this crane to use and I bought an extra motor and added a few bits and pieces to act as a load just to give it a little bit of interest okay um, basically that's pretty much what I've done to the whole thing um, I can't think of anything else I've done so if I just zoom out and let you have a look this is the the Mark II crane, modified by myself. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.